Before beginning the treatment, make a quick check of the teeth and soft tissue to determine if there are any restorations that may affect the whitening treatment results. The photoactive booster is mixed with liquid hydrogen peroxide to make the Blanc 1 whitening gel. Put on gloves and then remove the cap from the dispenser syringe and pour the entire contents of the bottle inside. Use the mixing stick to combine the two components until the gel becomes bright pink, orange pasty, creamy and uniform. Put the white tip on the syringe and carefully insert the plunger. Then extrude some of the gel to check its consistency. Let the mixture stand for five to 10 minutes to acquire the proper consistency. There will be enough gel for six whitening cycles. The mixture can be used within a couple of hours. The mixture cannot be conserved in any way. Then use a rubber cup and a dense mixture of pumice and water to polish the teeth to remove any external pigmentation and the salivary film that may have formed again after the cleaning. This mixture, unlike prophylaxis pastes, does not contain oily components that might reduce the whitening action. Reorder the Vita Shade Guide according to the whitening sequence described in point A of the instructions. For whitening, the shades used in the Vita Guide are reordered based on the shade value, i.e. according to the luminosity of the tooth. In simpler terms, it can be said that a color is lighter when it has more white and darker when it has more black. Put a mouth prop into position and continue to analyze the initial shade. Together with the patient, choose the shade that most closely matches the color of his, her teeth. At this point, take a few photographs with and without the shade guide that will then be compared to the photographs taken after the treatment. Position the light protective goggles and a slightly smaller mouth prop that may also have a tongue guard to make the patient more comfortable. Lubricate the lips with some Vaseline or lip balm to prevent them from becoming dry. Place some gauze on the surface of the tongue to protect it against any accidental gel spills. Put the black tip on the syringe containing the Blanc 1 Vitamin E Active Shield that will be applied to protect the gum tissue. To correctly position the photopolymerizing liquid dam, first use air to dry the surface of the soft tissues. Put the protective gel on two or three teeth at a time and then continue with the photopolymerization. Repeat this on all the teeth to be whitened. Use the liquid dam to protect and isolate any recessed gum areas where the dentine is exposed. To polymerize the dam, move the lamp back and forth to avoid the unpleasant feeling of heat caused as the dam hardens. A special feature of this dam is that it contains vitamin E with emollient and antioxidizing properties that will prevent the gums from becoming dehydrated during the treatment, eliminating any risk of burns from peroxide. If correctly positioned, the Blanc 1 Active Shield will not detach and not even if the patient wants to rinse during the various operations, which instead would force you to start again from the beginning. Continue in the lower arch, then use a mirror and a probe to check that the gum edges have been properly isolated. Use magnifying goggles to check for any air bubbles or points that have not been correctly isolated. The Blanc 1 whitening treatment consists of a series of three to six cycles that depends on the starting color of the enamel and on the results to be obtained. Each Blanc 1 cycle consists of three steps. One, applying the gel. Two, photo activation. Three, removal. Once you have become accustomed to the technique, you will be able to complete each cycle in about five minutes. Apply the whitening gel on the vestibular surfaces of the isolated teeth. 
making sure to spread the gel with a maximum thickness of 1 to 2 mm. The thickness of the gel will affect the activation time. The gel will be rather dense and you can distribute it on the surface using the tip of the nozzle. This consistency will prevent the gel from dripping and burning the soft tissues. In case of accidental contact, after having removed the peroxide, apply a drop of active shield on the burned point and use the lamp to photoactivate it. This will soothe the soft tissue and allow it to quickly reacquire its natural appearance. After applying the gel on both arches, photoactivate it tooth by tooth using a polymerizing lamp with a power of at least 800 milliwatts per square centimeter. The lamp terminal should be held about half a centimeter away from the gel. Greater distances may lengthen activation time. The color of the gel will change from bright pink orange to white, indicating that the whitening reaction has taken place correctly. The reaction has been completed when the gel becomes white. While wearing protective goggles, you can observe the photodynamic reaction as it takes place. In fact, the gel will become bright yellow and then slowly fade to white as the chromophores are depleted. After completing both arches, the whitening cycle is completed by removing the gel that has now become inactive. Use a surgical aspirator to remove the gel and then rinse the surface. At the end of the treatment, use a probe to remove the gum shield, making sure not to injure the surface of the soft tissues. The Blanc 1 protection can be easily removed. Use the saliva aspirator to pick up the pieces of the dam. After the patient has thoroughly rinsed, take photographs of the clinical case and check the final color of the whitening treatment together with the patient. The final shade of white may improve slightly over the next 48 hours. Show the results to the patient right away using the shade guide directly in the mouth to compare the initial color to the final one. Remind the patient about the short treatment time and how comfortable it was, asking him her if there was any sensitivity or discomfort, problems that will be totally absent during the treatment. As the patient is leaving, point out what should be done to maintain the results. In particular, tell patients who are smokers not to smoke for a couple of days. The colour will be immediately stable and therefore no white food diet will be necessary, even if it is suggested not to abuse chromogenic substances that might lead to an accumulation of external pigments. Finally, make a follow-up appointment for a month later to check the stability of the results obtained.